you knew me before I got diagnosed with diabetes, yeah. right? That was in high school. So mm -hmm. we were friends in high school. It feels so weird starting the vlog at like two. What is going on guys? Welcome to Sunday's vlog. It is a late start to the vlog. It has been, um, how do I say this? I'm trying to teach myself how to not be anxious, not pulling out the vlog right away in the morning. And as you guys know, I've been going through like this, this, what, what do you want to say? Kind of like a evolution or evolving of my channel. I'm like trying to figure out new things, contemplating a lot, not taking a break, but just sitting, thinking, learning, and, and trying to debate new stuff. Cause I just been getting tired of like, what I've been doing on here, so. But I wanna catch up with you guys really quick. This morning I was 80, picked up my old people, worked with my mom, uh, driving around my old people, which you guys, a lot of you know, I do on the weekend. Came back, had a breakfast, took five and a half units in Overlog, dropped hard, kinda got into a dark place again. I was like, I'm kinda debating, I'ma eat whatever I want, and I didn't. I just ended up having like a ice cream, not a popsicle, but like a fudge stick that was low carb, I just found in the freezer. I don't know who the heck brought it, but it was like about seven carbs, but I didn't really care. I had that, some pistachios, got fed up, you know, two tablets, came back from work. Now I'm 170, uh, which I did not expect because I was like 70 after I ate all that stuff, but that was only a couple minutes after, and you know how low glycemic, higher fat, higher protein meals can delay spikes. Decided to take one and a half units of Novolog for that 170 just about 10 minutes ago. I'm about to cook up lunch. I'm probably just gonna show you a bit of that. I'm tired of like, really the main thing was getting tired of showing you guys all the meals. I know I'm complaining, but uh, six units of R made my second Instagram post talking about shorter needles hurt me more. Longer needles are recommended by Dr. Bernstein. I think for me, it's a mental shift right now. I need to get over the fact that like, I still need to share the information, document the journey and like get back to what I'm devoted to and committed to. Like I'm not committed or I'm not devoted to the result I get or every single little number or it's the fact that I need to be in love with the process right now and be clear with my goals. I don't have a clear goal to be honest, you know, I'm kind of just everywhere. But nonetheless, I'm gonna cook lunch, getting the vegetables ready, I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. And my plan is to work out after lunch today. It's been always after breakfast, so it's gonna be probably a later workout. And uh, the house is still under construction. But did you guys like my rap outro from yesterday's vlog? Come on, I, I, I spent time and did that for you. Literally trying everything. I'm like outroing with raps and next thing you know, I'm gonna run around the vlog naked. Hit the like button. <laughs> so here's the sandwich. We got broccoli, mushrooms, bell peppers, two eggs. Under it is egg whites, some Parmesan spread on there. Beef from yesterday. I don't want to eat beef again, but like there's nothing at home, so the salary. So I'm hoping six units is the right spot. You know, I don't want to feel too full after this meal. I want to work out after this, which is probably three hours. I usually do three, so maybe two, but most likely three or four. All right, Daily Hustle, it's about 6.30. I'm sitting outside while my car is on. I uploaded my vlog, another late upload of my vlog. Um, I want to say got to it pretty late because I had a... I've been driving a lot lately and sitting down too much, which isn't great for my hip flexors, back. Just not great in general. I had to take my grandma to my uncle's in between my shift of dropping off my old people. So I didn't really get to, and then the hypo thing in the morning. So um, I'm 180 right now, or was about 45 minutes ago. Kind of stressed me out, but it is what it is. I took two units to correct me and of Novolog in my shoulder. Kind of did hurt, but I'm trying to like the reason why I took six units of R and I didn't worry is I thought I was gonna eat a smaller meal and um, I did it, you know, I just ended up eating the same. So right now I'm gonna go pick up Mustafa. I'm going to crunch with him. I know I'm working out with somebody else today, ironically, two days in a row. So I'll we'll probably change it up and uh, see you there. Hey y'all, so I want to address something that's kind of bothering me right now, which I usually address on channels because I'm really open honest. This comment right here, my man, appreciate you commenting and watching, watching, but I want to say something. If you're trying to get someone to convert someone to go on your diet, and I'm not coming from a mad place, it was just kind of bothering me to see like go vegan, eat plant-based. And as you know, if you're following Dr. Bernstein's program, it's not plant-based, it's not vegan. It's purely a carnivore diet. If you're trying to get someone to convert someone to go on your diet, you don't simply drop it in a YouTube comment, an Instagram post, not even a DM. 
if you're really close friends with someone maybe you could bring up the conversation my friend hassan is a vegan he doesn't even tell me about going vegan because it's just it's you just don't do that when it comes to like youtube comments and my man like i i i'm open to always listening about new stuff about diets it's just you don't do that with people's philosophy you don't just drop it in a comment and expect like they're gonna do it right away like oh i'm gonna go vegan tomorrow um if you want dm me message me em email me i'll give you my reasons you give me your reasons you know no it's it's nothing nothing bad not coming from a bad place that's why i like to address it on here but that being said the 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 special guest special guest is here and his name is uh what's your name again my name is mufasa guys what's up hey mustafa for real pretend like this camera is not here like this this vlog i haven't vlogged today as much okay, let me so it's clear. it's gonna be it's gonna be a, not about you but you being like, you put your face there too okay but you don't need to look at it don't worry like pretend it's not there like okay. that's serious well when i pull out the camera all my friends start acting weird and everyone really? does in general but i love it's, gonna, it's not gonna be about you it's mm -hmm. gonna be about like our friendship as you having a friend like someone you. living with diabetes not like about me this channel is about diabetes obviously <laughs> This is good. Can they? Can you? No, they can see me. So I'm what I'm, I, I'll, we'll just start with one question before we, because we're gonna go work out. What are we working out? I no. think chest and tricep. We're doing chest and triceps. So yeah, we are. I guess my first question would be, what is it like having a? Actually, no, no. You knew me before I got diagnosed with diabetes, yeah. right? That was in high school. So mm -hmm. we were friends in high school. We didn't really talk that much. We just said hi, bye, you know, kind of catch up. Yeah. But what was it like after you found out I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes? Was it like, what, did you see a difference or, or do we just not hang out as much? To be honest, after you got diagnosed, I did not know until you said it. And I, at that time when I met you at Rena, Rena. Oh, yeah, Renat Park, but later on we just hanged out. It was like nothing. Yeah. Nothing well, like. Okay, then I'll say, what's it like seeing me do all the stuff? Like when we go out to eat, like seeing me pull out my machine or inject? Like, do you have questions? Do you think, do you feel bad? Do you laugh? Do you, what is your like, what do you, what do you feel about that? For me, to be honest, like sometimes I feel like I want to help you, even though like I cannot because it's not like feeling bad that this is for me, but just like I want to do something for you that like yeah have you, you not you just want to help a little bit yeah okay what's it let me think of another question do you have a question for me about diabetes mm -hmm. that you want to know more of or are you do you feel like it's something you don't know about is there stuff you don't want to say because you don't want to sound like ignorant or yeah, ignorant but. Well, one question I might ask you is like, how, like, how was you feeling, like your emotion after you felt like you diagnosed, or like what you start to do? Did you feel like some, uh, like you will get, not rejected, but like you won't be like with your friend because of that? Oh, do I feel left out? Left out, yeah. Um, I think when I, a lot of people know this. When I first got diagnosed. Mm -hmm. I, like no one believes me. I'm not trying to sound like Macho Man. I didn't know anything about it, so I was actually like, in, like, this sounds crazy, but I was motivated after I got diagnosed. I was like, wow, this is a huge reason for me to become, you know, even healthier, or at least start becoming healthy and become an inspiration or make something out of it. But as I as I found out, like, as I started going out with family, I really then started feeling left out and less of a human, like. Oh, I'm sorry you can't eat that. And I couldn't, I didn't know how to respond. Like, you know, and, and you felt like you were this, not alien, you just didn't feel like it, you were put in a different Long. place. Like, you didn't belong there. You were like, oh, he has diabetes. He's sick. Like, literally, like I was coughing or something and you couldn't get around me or he can't eat that. He has to eat there. That's how I felt. But that being said, we're going to the gym, guys. Mustafa what? making his. 10th appearance on the vlog. I don't know. He's been on there a lot. You've had your interview there. Your interview is actually on YouTube. Really? Yeah, you do. You're kidding me. I didn't. Yeah, see, my friends don't support me <laughs> in my vlogs. <laughs> okay, you can edit. There we go. 6.50 p.m. I'm 91. I dropped really fast, which is odd because I was 180. Um, yeah. Um, I actually want to say, like, an hour ago, Actually, no, yeah, about an hour ago when I, was, when I was editing the computer, I don't know if this makes sense, but I felt half low. So it wasn't a hypo. 
I think a lot of it was due was going from 180 to now 90, like dropping that fast makes me feel weird. Obviously, it should feel weird. It shouldn't be right, uh, which I'm kind of worried about right now, but this workout might spike my blood sugar. So five minutes on the treadmill, Mustafa's ready to go. You're going up by five. We have stop it. Stop it. Ladies, hit him up. He's single. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, shit. There you go. Let's go in the class there. Oh, there we go. We got Mustafa. Stop it. I was too nervous to show you guys shirtless. It's too late. Let me see. Check in. Did you actually do that? What? Yeah. I, I showed him. Oh. Uh oh. Got a brand new shirt on. Yeah, well, I have All to right, so my I'm shirt on. <laughs> I'm 66. Mustafa, what does that mean? 66. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. What is it? Is 66, what is that? That you have a good blood sugar? No, no but it's low. Low blood yeah, sugar. Yeah, anything below 70 is low. So I, I have one tablet. I kind of felt it. So, what's your like average? What's my goal? No, no, no. What, yeah, what's your like? You have to reach that certain goal. Well, I try to stay under 120 uh -huh. and above 75 or 80. Above 75 or 80. Yeah, so I'm gonna have one tablet right now because my blood sugar is low. That sh that six. If you eat one tablet, which is four carbs, that 66 should get me to 88 because each carb raises me about 4.5. <laughs> okay, so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mustafa, no, I'm not saying that. Mustafa, I asked him earlier, or he asked me. I'm not gonna put you on the spot. Okay, it's all right. He said, he, he's like, I have bananas. You want some? And I didn't hear him. And then he was like, oh shit, he literally put his head against the thing. I'm like, why are you upset? I'm like, oh, because I know, I forgot you don't eat fruit, which I don't. But I asked him, like, do you think I'm forced to not eat it? Or I, he's like, before I even said the next word, he's like, choose. And I'm like, I don't need to say anymore because it's a choice. He knows that. He, he used to see me when I used to binge eat. So he knows it's a choice that I make versus, oh, I can't eat that. I'm not allowed to. It's not not being allowed to. So last words. Last word. Love you guys. <laughs> Late dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was me and Mustafa. Mustafa, I met him in high school. And uh, he's one of my closest friends, and we like to work out together and do cool things. Yeah, so my blood sugar about like third, 20 minutes ago was 70. So I took my R a little later, Novel and R. I took six units of it, and it's 9.15. It's a late dinner, so here's what we got. Chicken breast, cabbage I just cut up, bell peppers, and seasoning. Egg whites, and then under it is turkey, two boiled eggs, and the rest of the chicken. So yeah, I'm about to eat this, see how this goes. Got a haircut too. Hope y'all liked it or like it. It is about 10 p.m. Um, washed the dishes finally. Got my last Instagram post done for the day. And uh, for that comment, you know, I, I would just want to make sure, like, for anyone that comments, I don't get upset. I just use them as props and reasons. Um, for going about, you know, like people converting to veganism or eating low carb. I have nothing against veganism and I've tried it for a little bit, but I have my reasons. Other people have their reasons. I don't mind making a video about why I made, why I chose it. And I've actually done that a lot. But that being said, it's 10 p.m. Gonna head to sleep. Or I'm sorry, not gonna head to sleep. I'm gonna drink my vitamin zero. It's pineapple coconut. I like this flavor. And I really hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Seriously, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button. Comment down below. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Diabetes Daily Hustle.